We are now being joined by dancer and choreographer Kenneth Agabata, better known as Ken. He is versatile in all dance forms, including Afro dance, ballroom, traditional African dance, Bollywood inspired fusions, and much more. He joins us from Lekki in Lagos to share his professional take on the viral social media Shwalabam dance. Hi, Ken. Thank you so much for joining us today on such short notice. Now, could you help us understand the origin of the Shwalabam dance? Um, okay, based on my knowledge, you know, when I saw the dance at first, I thought to myself that this looks like the network dance because it's kind of like, you know, the network dance, only that it's not as grounded and it doesn't have as much flair as the network dance, which comes from South, um, which comes from Ghana. However, there's been these controversies between the South Africans and uh, the Ghanaians as to what the origin of the dance style would be because um, it very much looks like the network dance where you just go down and feel so branded but just that the Shralabam, the Shralabam dance is very very relaxed very very fun just kind of like the Allen shake this is where the controversy comes now because it has this grounded like groundedness like the afro the network dance but it also has this easy this you know sassiness like the Allen shake and then the South Africans argue that this dance originate, originated from three hip hop guys in South Africa that just came up and shot a tutorial video you know what the Shalabam dance should be and it was come more towards the hip hop side than to the Afro. So I guess there's been some meeting points between the groundedness and the you know hip hop sassiness, Alain Shea kind of vibes. So but it's been an argument, you know, it's, it's, we don't know who started it with the, the first video, but there's been this argument between the South Africans and the Ghanaians. Interesting. A lot of celebrities seem to be jumping on the challenge. I've seen David O, Tiwa Savage, Chris Brown, Jason Torello, and many more. What do you think they stand to gain? Um, I think um, like this dance challenge and every other dance challenge, um, the, the algorithm favors you, honestly speaking, first and foremost. Um, you know, the way the social media algorithms are built these days is in such a way that the favorite dance, the typical dance stars, the trending dance stars, that's what I meant to say. The trending dance stars get favored a lot because they are quite catchy and then people tend to engage. And also, a lot of people like to be relevant. You know? People like to, you know, be relevant. So when something is trending, everybody likes to just throwing their own swag here and there. So it just helps their relevance and also pushes their social media um, reach because it's, it's it's what it does. The trend, the more trending the stars, the more your know, social media platform shows it to more people. The more people click on the hashtag and the more they see you quick. So you're really, literally in people's faces. Mm. Okay, finally, finally, in what ways do you think this would affect the Nigerian dance scene, seeing how Nigerians truly love to dance? You know, there's been this argument as to also the origin of Amapiano. Like, everybody kind of knows that Amapiano is a South African invention. But even Nigerians tend to claim Amapiano. Like, it, they made it, they brought it into limelight, they made it trend. And they kind of come up with what I usually hear, um, our piano. <laughs> they call it our piano. And, you know, it's beautiful because you, music is a universal language. And dance also is a universal language. So there is a communication. It, it, it's become something so much that, you know, dance stars have gone beyond their origins, their state, their countries. It's now a thing of, I'm speaking a language to the world and the world is listening and we are communicating in this language. Afro has gone past, Afro has evolved so much. Afro has, Afro dance style has evolved so, so much. And Ama Piano just became the new go-to thing. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but it seems like, and my piano is here to stay because I could remember where the likes of um, Konto came, reigned and left. Galala came. We moved on to Yahuze. We moved on to Azonto from South Africa. We moved on to a couple of African, uh, you know, um, African vibes, African Afro steps. But recently, my piano has just been modified and we keep getting more, you know, different, different versions, different steps. And with the influx of, you know, social media content, content and the influences of social media, it just seems like it's here to stay and it's going to be here for a long time, that we, longer time than we think. Honestly speaking, if you, I think on like, like many other trends, it's probably just going to come out. Honestly speaking, if you ask me, 
um, it's going to serve its purpose which is serving at the time, social media engagement, social media trends, um, content, vibes, fun. Yeah, but I feel like in a couple of years, in a couple of months, actually, it, it probably will just fade up because we've had, you know, some other, you know, hook steps or some other trending dances come and go. So I just feel like it might probably follow that trend. My baby not like go go, but just kind of like de debase a bit, like you know, water down or not water down. I'm looking for the right word, kind of like um, maybe fade off a bit. Again, many thanks for joining us, Ken.